Hey everyone, how you doing? My name is Echo and I hope you're having a great day. Today's Minecraft video, we're back on Minecraft PlayStation 4, the Bedrock version. We have a brand new update. Now I want to go through all the changes, but if you do want to check out the official change log, it is down below in the description and as the pinned comment. So today's version is 1.14.0.12, but as you guys can see below me, it says 1.14.0. So what the developers did not tell us is the current version of Minecraft Bedrock. All versions are currently on a beta build, but on the home screen, it says 1.14.0. The reason why they've done this is because 1.14 technically wasn't ready for launch. And because PlayStation 4 was being leaked, they just basically gave us the day and said PlayStation 4 Bedrock is releasing. So I know PlayStation 4 Bedrock wasn't necessarily a successful launch. A lot of bugs, a lot of crashes, a lot of issues. Um, the best thing I can say to you guys is make sure you report them. It does really suck. And as we're making this video, there is no sign of realms and there is no sign of servers. All I can say is I hope they get introduced over the next couple of weeks, um, not months. So the first thing I want to go through is on um, the character creator. So a lot of you would probably notice that the character creator crashes a lot. In some cases, it fully deletes your character. Yeah, PlayStation community, that's not new. That's been happening on Bedrock ever since this launched. And skins have always been a problem on Minecraft Bedrock, whether it's iOS, Android, whether it's an Xbox, Switch, PlayStation. It's always had problems. Sometimes you have like a drop down box saying your character wouldn't load. Sometimes you would always be Steve or Alex when you loaded up. I've not had any problems in the most recent update, but I guarantee you there will be some problems. That's because the character creator goes across all versions of the Bedrock, even Minecraft Earth. Uh, yeah, I gave Steve, uh, pfft, he's baldy, he's yellow, <laughs> and he's got an eye patch. There's also a couple more issues with the Microsoft account. Uh, that's probably why you're not being able to buy things in here. You need a Microsoft account in order to lock things to that account. Now, I'm able to buy tokens at this moment, so hopefully that's the same for you guys. And for people who keep asking me, saying that, where's my DLC? So if you purchase DLC on the additions version, if you tap on your name at the top, mine says Echo Soldier YT's packs. This is where all my packs are. Obviously, I'm more of an Xbox player than I was PlayStation, so I didn't buy too much on this version. Um, if you're missing something, it's either bugged or it doesn't have the license for Bedrock yet. There's a lot of packs on the additions versions that are locked to the additions versions rather than this. That being said, guys, let's go into game. Let's go and check out update 2.0. And just to make sure you do have the latest update, guys, on your home screen, press start on Minecraft, update history. It should say version 2.00. Minor bug fixes and crashes. It's definitely not minor bug fixes. It's definitely major bug fixes and crashes. Anyway, let's go and check it out. So let's start off with the standard bug fixes. Uh, always on the Bedrock version in these kind of videos, fix several crashes occurring during gameplay. They could be anything to just play in Minecraft and the game crashes, being on the marketplace and the game crashes, being anywhere in this version of Minecraft and the game just completely closes down. That is very popular on the Bedrock version. It says here, fix crashes when transferring worlds. So you guys had a lot of problems with transferring your worlds. So a lot of people who were telling me they had problems, it was mainly you were missing chunks from your world. Now, that's a big problem. So this happened a lot on launch of Xbox One edition. I kind of thought they would have polished that system off and got it fully working for PlayStation. Hopefully you still have your worlds on the editions versions. What I believe happens is although you convert it to the new version, there still should be a copy on the older versions. If that's not the case, then Minecraft and Mojang have some serious issues happening. But yeah, um, for anyone who's having like crashes or world problems, my best advice right now would be not to transfer your popular worlds or your favorite worlds. I wish I had said that at the start of the launch of this, uh, but wait for a couple updates for them to polish that because that is a big problem. Transferring your worlds, missing chunks and missing your creations is not what any Minecraft player wants to have. Fixed Microsoft account signing issue. Like I said, I've had no problems with the Microsoft account as of me making this video, uh, but I still believe some of you guys are. I really don't know what to say to you guys in, in order to fix it. Just make sure you report your problems as much as you can. You could do that via in-game as well. Uh, having many addition worlds no longer slows startup time. So something else I received in a lot of tweets and, and posts was, hey Echo, my game takes forever to load up. So 
if you have a lot of worlds, that was the reason why. That should no longer happen. A lot of you guys were stuck on the Mojang logo. Or a lot of you were just stuck on the B background. It didn't say play, settings, marketplace, or the additions version. It was just plain. So I believe that was one of the major issues. Because I didn't have a lot of worlds on the Bedrock version of PlayStation 4, I wasn't really experiencing that problem. But if you was, hopefully it's been fixed. Fixed error when pressing unlock full game. So for people who maybe didn't have the additions versions or were just trying to unlock the whole entire game in general. For anybody who did have the edition versions on Minecraft, it was just technically an update because now it's two Minecraft versions in one game. Although it's Minecraft Bedrock, if you scroll to the bottom, you have the additions there, which you are still able to play. The only convenience is you have to load up Bedrock in order to access the additions version. I mean, I kind of prefer that. I wish they'd done that on Xbox. On Xbox, it's two separate games. Uh, the next one, fixed store error number zero. I never had that, but if your store was saying error number zero, <laughs> that's been fixed. Um, sugar boxes. So a lot of you who transferred sugar boxes probably noticed that they were completely empty like this. Meanwhile, all your diamonds were stacked up in them, and when you transfer them, they weren't there. That should have been fixed. That's what it says in the official change log. Transferring sugar boxes, your loot should now transfer over to... Uh, this one, this one needs a lot of work on Bedrock. This is not just PlayStation. This is just Bedrock in general. View bobbing behaves correctly north to south. So, apparently they made some changes to view bobbing. It's still, it's still terrible, dude. I feel like I'm walking with a limp. Now, I know I got a prosthetic leg, right? But come on, Minecraft. The, the view bobbing is awful on this. You notice it more when you don't have an item in your hand. Like, if I pick up a, a grass block... It doesn't seem to be as too as too bad, but view bobbing is just a complete mess. Nobody nobody walks like this <laughs> or runs like that, you know? Like, come on, it, it's so annoying. Again, I really don't know why this is happening. I also don't know why my hand is incredibly small, maybe because my character is really small. Uh, but they need to fix view bobbing. The only thing I can think of with view bobbing is because soon we're gonna have emojis, emotes. In Minecraft, yes, we're going to be able to dab on those haters very, very soon. Um, that is the only thing I could think of. So, yeah, view bobbing, still a mess. Said that they've done some fixes, it's still a mess. Uh, fixed world conversion, enabling cheats in survival. So some of you guys had your survival worlds, but cheats were enabled. So you were able to give yourself basically everything and you weren't classed as cheating. That was a bug. <laughs> For anyone who had a world and you were able to do this, I guess, lucky you. Anybody who tries to convert a world now, nope, it will still be locked behind, well, survival. If you try and enable cheats, it will say, disable trophies. Fix trophies, unlocking uh, for all during multiplayer sessions. So, whenever you were playing with your friends and one person unlocked a trophy, everybody would unlock that trophy. <laughs> Just a really weird bug that's now been fixed. Next one, bees die after attacking. So, we're going to have to do something for science here. Um, also, if you guys want to access your commands, it's right on your D-pad by default. You can change all your commands in, in settings. So we do forward slash game. This is going to hate me now. Game mode. S. Done. We are now in game mode survival. Now, this is for science. No bees were hurt in the making of this. But whenever a, whenever a bee hits you, obviously you get stung. This bee loses its stinger. Now, if we follow this bee, he's eventually gonna die. We're gonna change this as well to C, to game mode C, and then we go square, done. B, B, this B. Is it this B? I think it's this B. They get really confused, like, like they know they're gonna die. And then eventually they just die. Now, there's no advantage with killing bees in Minecraft anyway, because bees in Minecraft, they don't drop any XP. They're literally like one of the most useful mobs in terms of not giving you XP because they give you honey. This guy's still not dead though. He's really confused. He's not interested in flowers. He's, I don't know, still not dead. Although it does say in the chains log that they fixed this issue. There you go, poor bee. He just poofs right to the sky. So yeah, bees now died. Seems like they took a little bit longer on this version to die. They get really confused, so don't attack bees. No bees were hurt in the making of this video. Uh, so next one uh, is fixed broken textures after resource packs are disabled. I experienced this. Your textures will become really weird. My, mine happened with dirt. So my dirt was like bluish. Really strange. Uh, that's all to do with resource packs. I should have been fixed. Creator character fixes. That's also to do with like you're using your thumbsticks in the creator. That should have been fixed. 
Uh, last, one I, Nick, last but not least, fix not being able to leave inventory uh, on Marketplace. So if you were in the Marketplace and you were going for a couple of things, you weren't able to leave. Again, bugs, issues, problems. It happens quite frequently in Minecraft. And like I said, guys, I know PS4 Bedrock wasn't successful. <laughs> Everyone wanted Bedrock. Welcome to the community. There's still a lot of things that need to be ironed out. Maybe this week or next week we will see some more fixes. Guys, have a great day. Stay beautiful. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.